Life path number five. Hi, welcome in. This is Healing Hands. If this is your first time, welcome to my channel. Um, thank you for visiting and thank you for clicking on that play button to check me out. I hope you like what you see. I hope you get your message. Um, for you clicking, I have a feeling you would, you know, nudge to click, click on that video. Nothing happens by accident. There's a reason why you're watching this today and you will get your message out of this video. All right. As long as you have an open mind and you understand that this is a general reading, which means I'm picking up the general energy of your life path number five collective. Okay. So it means I have your spirit guides. I have your archangels. I have your um, higher self collective here. And I've asked to, you know, get a unified voice. I'm not going to be hearing, you know, you know, just one voice of telling me, giving me the message and I'm, I'll be relaying that message to you guys. Okay. So number five, um, something happened when I sat down here to do you guys reading. So the, your, your energy or spirit guides wanted me to use a white, or should I say gray colored? I call it white because it's either white or black incense stick. All right. I, and I've been using black. I'm, I mean, I, I can't remember the last time I used white. But they wanted you, me to use a white, <laughs> which I don't know why. And in the process of looking for this white, I knew I had it, you know, the, I had all of them in one pile. I kept looking and looking and looking and looking and looking and looking. And while I was looking, some of your messages kept coming in. All right. So there is a message also um that i received when i went upstairs to get something and i totally got there and got something else and left what i went there to get so that's another message coming through to you this reading is for 2021 so whenever you hit this video is when your 2021 will start for you even if it's 10 years from now okay so your 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 new year will start like the the beginning of the next month from when you watch this okay so when i say 20 2020 i'm talking about you know, the, the previous one year from today when you're watching this, it doesn't matter what time or, or because these readings are timeless, but for this specific, um, time period, when I'm releasing this, I'm doing this, you know, for 2021. Okay. So we're picking up the energy of 2021, what you'll be going through experiencing as a life path. Number five, those messages will be coming to me clearly and I'll be relaying them to you. All right. So guys, immediately I got, uh, you know, the, um, um, I got the energy of repeating a pattern, trying to repeat. It's like you're trying to repeat the same thing over and over again. All right. Because of you're scared to get off the hamster wheel. It's like the wheel is just, oh, okay. So, okay, let's go again. Okay. Let's go again. So trying to get out of that wheel, you can, but you're afraid. There's, you're scared. I, I kept feeling, feeling that energy. What are you afraid of? Getting off a hamster wheel that is taking you nowhere. You know, I feel like there as there's there's an energy that you're gonna be experiencing this year that you will need to conquer. Looks like it was an energy from uh, the previous year that you brought in of not inability to let go of things and always taking them into the new cycle. And because you're not letting go of them, they are causing issues for you in your relationship, in your situationship, in at your job, you know, wherever. But I did get the energy of trying to take the longer route instead of the shorter shorter route because you were you're not familiar with the shorter route because you don't know you're not familiar um so you're scared of getting off that hamster wheel of let me take i don't know what's gonna happen because i'm used to this even though i don't know let me just stay here and keep going round and round I, i'm just okay here you know i don't want to get off and i don't know what i'm gonna find <laughs> so i got the energy of missing the signs and missing opportunities all right. And at even a point, I got the energy of maybe somebody trying to steal something from you or feeling like somebody stole something or losing something to somebody or losing something or feeling like you lost something. All right. But I did pick up a lot of energy about self-sabotage that you're going to be reviewing. These things are kind of going to be coming to your forefront this um, year for you to review and for you to make the needed amendment or amend or change around that. All right. Self-sabotage prolonging the journey when it's not necessary um, or trying to or you know which can cause delays which can cause some kind of blockage even sickness in your body all right because trying to resist resistance can cause some kind of chakra you know blockage and ultimately affect those part of our body that the chakra is linked to all right so number five you guys are an active and unpredictable 
energy. It's so filled with sudden and unusual events and opportunities that you sometimes become confused by it or afraid of it. Consequently, you can miss out on the abundance of experience that your life path number offers. In order to utilize your number five energy, you must reach a deeper understanding of the word experience. Some of you are so afraid of accidents and mistakes that instead of flowing confidently with, you know, this exciting energy that you cling to the safe and familiar with all your strength, your power, your might. You want to be on that hamster wheel and keep going. Although you see, uh, you know, you see and feel the excitement that is, you know, you feel that excitement through you. You are afraid, still afraid to let go. Take this plunge. See where it takes you. All right. What an energy. So this year, you're going to be exploring. This is going to be a year of exploration for you. I see spirit pushing you to uncomfortable territories, un unfamiliar territories, okay? Things you, you were not comfortable doing before, you'll be comfortable doing them now. I see you moving in directions that you never thought you'd be moving in. I see you doing things and based on faith, based on um, um, trust, and, you know, not on whether it is right or proper. I see you going, you know, after your happiness and going after your abundance also, all right? Um, I see you needing proper planning, attention to detail, and it, this is going to be a year of discovering hidden gems, things that are hidden. Like just the way I discovered, I eventually found the, the incense. I think you're going to discover hidden gems. It's a year of not giving up, being unrelenting, and commitments, you know. It's a year of committing to something, all right. It's a year of patience. It's a year of dedication, diligence, knowing what you want, going after it, taking risks, pushing yourself outside the envelope, being innovative and trying new things, breaking new grounds, tap, it's like tapping oil, all right? Because they showed me like, you know, where you're, you're like tapping oil, like somebody, an oil rig or trying to discover something. So it's going to be a year of discovery, a year of exploration for your life path. You're going to be discovering a lot of hidden treasures, things that you didn't know were there because you, you were on that hamster wheel or blah, 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 blah. Now you're going to be pushed off of that hamster wheel. It might be a little shaky or uncomfortable in the beginning, but you will be able to adjust. Refusing to let go of what is safe <clears throat> and familiar, you know, so, so that you can discover alternative is a large part of, you know, what your life path number is meant to learn. And that's why you find yourself keep repeating things because you're not learning that. And most of you guys do seem to repeat the same mistake because you're not learning. And often realizing, you know, oh, when it's too late, like, oh my God, I just did the same thing. Oh, what? Okay. Why did I do the same thing? Oh, what? Well, you can't explain it. All right? Anxiety is natural when you don't know what you're dealing with. But you must learn to accept fear as a natural and life-saving emotion. All right? It's not meant to... Fear is natural. It's normal. It's, it's, its purpose is to alert you to danger so that you can keep yourself safe. Until you learn to face your fears head on, your denial of them will keep you from expanding and enjoying your life. You're more likely to deny fear when you are unfocused on your on your environment or your surroundings, or when you're focused, you know, um, or, or, or lack focus in the details of the situation. All right, the power of concentration must be developed by you guys, life, life path number five. Otherwise, your attention will be scattered in too many directions. Mistakes will be made, but not acknowledged. Fear of the unknown will become your excuse, and nothing will be achieved. Some of you do recognize when, you, when you've made a mistake. And sometimes you are promised never to do it. But you keep repeating it. Because you are reluctant to make the changes needed. You don't feel the... It's that hamster wheel energy of I don't feel the need to make any change. This is comfortable. I'm okay. No, you're not okay. Take the leap of faith. Life path number five. I'm hearing that. Do something you haven't done before. Do something new. Believe in, in the possibility of something. Believe something can come out, something good can come out of taking a leap of faith. All right? Yes. They just knocked it out of my hands. Yes. Absolutely. I'm right. So let's see what energies we're picking up for you guys. It's telling you go the distance. I can't be making these messages up, guys. <laughs> Take the risk. You will, I'm telling you there's abundance. I, what I saw, you'll be shocked what I saw, okay? Take the leap of faith. All right? Take the leap. This is the master number 11. 
Okay? If it can be more divinely timed and more divinely guided, you don't want to miss those opportunities. Because I did get the energy of you missing out on opportunities because you were busy, like focus on the hamster wheel. All right? Do not miss these opportunities. Go the distance with a somebody, something, whatever you're doing in your life. This year is a year to go the distance. Take the extra step, the extra leap of faith. All right? Take the, the leap of faith. Okay? I wanted to pick one. They were like, no, shuffle. I wanted to pick one up and they were like, nope, shuffle it. So maybe I picked the wrong one. They wanted to take, get you guys the happy family. All right. I do see weddings, engagements, um, celebration anniversaries for some of you. Happy, happy family life with rainbows. You know, I see, you know, family life from, you know, solid structure, solid foundations being established, being revived, being rebuilt, being revisited. Wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all right, life path number five. You all want to be shuffled. Let's shuffle. I didn't shuffle for anybody else. All right, there's the king of spring here. And he talks about innovation. Guys, I think I said something about you needing to be in innovative, right? So here it is now. So there's something here about innovation. This wanted to come out too. Wow. <laughs> Life path number five. So this talks about innovation, inspiration, being wise, being theatrical. Theatrical, okay? Yeah, theatrical. All right? And it says a financial windfall. OMG, life path number five. It says a financial windfall, your leadership skills are needed now. An unexpected supporter of your cause so you also have somebody in your energy who is going to help you usher in some abundance who is a, a great supporter of yours who has your interest at heart whose whole purpose is just to make you a better person all right there's that's such a person in your energy a protective person a loving nurturing energy because an, an abundant energy around you and a, an energy that draws energy and uh, draws um, other energy and draws about abundance and money a rich it's a rich kind of affluent kind of energy all right and it's talking about a financial windfall so seeing those opportunities that will be on your path this year it was gonna be pivotal to your success if you miss those I don't know what to tell you it's gonna be hard <laughs> so you want to pay careful attention take the opportunities do the work do the work I keep hearing do the work it says your leadership okay they're pointing me here your leadership skills are needed now do the work. See the opportunities, but do the work. Remember I said something about proper planning. Attention to detail. Tidy your end of the deal, your end of the bargain. Proper planning. Attention to detail. Not giving up. Communicating. Opening up. The next one is the sun. This is the most beautiful card any life part reading can get. And I haven't gotten it for any of the life part readings so far. Okay? It's a, a 10. Which is, it breaks down to a 1. 1 plus 0, right? Is equal to 1. So you have 11, you have the 4, and then you have a 1. Which is all about, you know, completion and starting something. You're springing something into creation. Recognizing those opportunities and taking them and, and, and making them bloom. They're showing me this big, bright flower. It's a combination of red and yellow. Why? It's, it's a beautiful bouquet that I just saw now. And what it says here is, it plans that work out perfectly. Wow. I just finished talking about proper planning. And honestly, I'm just going as I'm being led to speak. I'm not even reading this. All right, until I'm brought to it. So now here it says, plans that work out perfectly. Amazing ideas that can lead to rewards and commendations. Gratitude for the blessings of life. Wow. <laughs> what an awesome energy. Life part number five. This is going to be a very profound year for you. A year of growth. I also am hearing a year of accommodation. Wow. I don't know what does that mean. Accommodation? Accommodating something, somebody, somebody accommodating you? Absorbing? A year of absorption? Absorbing somebody, something? Or having, a, I don't know. But there's some kind of energy around, you know, beautiful abundance around you happy family money coming in when people thought there was not going to be any money there's rainbow there's attraction 
So it looks like you may have been able to, you know, hit some kind of, you know, attraction, law of attraction for you guys. All right. And I mean, guys, you all know what I always like. I, when I tell people use your law, law of attraction, most people just feel like, okay, you know, yeah, let me meditate or I, let me pray or let me light a candle or let me do some offering and go to the temple and I'll start attracting. That's not how it works, guys. And I feel the need to share this, you know, as we, be, and we, as we kick off this new year. As we begin the new journey, as you begin this new cycle in your life, closing out this old one and starting something new, you need to be able to really materialize all what is in your front. They keep showing me this is such a beautiful rainbow. Wow. I also see potential of kids or talking about kids or adopting kids or birthing kids or bringing kids or aligning with people that have kids. Something that have to do with got kids, got children, uh, kids, children. And just being, you know, working with the universe, working in alignment, working towards that life purpose, working towards that path or the agreement or, you know, as in, I'm just showing me to, and I, as I'm looking at this, it just looks as if they, they are just moving and they're not like moving towards their rainbow, moving towards happiness, but aligning and in agreement because they're all holding hands. There's agreement. There is focus, power of manifestation. Now, guys, in order for you to manifest any of this, you have to apply the 12 universal laws, okay? The 12 universal laws, one of them is the law of attraction, which we are familiar with. That's what people just focus on. Oh, law of material, you know, manifestation, a law of attraction. Oh, that's it. No, you have the law of divine oneness, which talks or says that everything is connected. You have to understand that even these 12 laws that I'm going to tell you guys now are all interconnected. They're all dependent on one another. You can't achieve one without all of them being in sync. It's not something you can achieve in isolation. It's all connected. And until you realize that and connect all the dots, all right, being able to manifest this might be a challenge for you this year. It's right there. It's a beautiful energy. Despite the self-sabotage, Spirit gives is giving you the opportunity to make your life a better, you know, thing. It's something beautiful. Of course, you have the law of vibration, which says that everything has a unique vibrational frequency. Are you going to choose to vibrate on a lower level frequency? Or are you going to choose to raise your vi vibration? And do, you know, take a leap of faith. Do things that you're meant to do. Do things that make you happy for once. get Take a risk. Get off the hamster wheel. And jump in. Get your hands dirty. Be that leader. I'm just seeing somebody in the mud. Just working. Like, what are they looking for? Like, somebody looking for hidden gems or jewel in the mud? That's crazy, too. All right. So, of course, you have the law of correspondence, which talks about as it is in heaven, so it is on earth. Or let it be on earth. As above, so below. Even though people allude that to occultism or whatever, but uh, no. All right? It's in the Bible, except it's different words, same meaning. And I'm hearing different shit, same day. Or different, <laughs> or different days, same shit or something. Wow! <laughs> what in the world is that? Different crap, same day. Different, eh? Different crap? Different days, same crap? I'm also hearing, you know, all right, tell, okay, so the next one also is the law of attraction. Sorry, the uh, we've talked, law of action that says manifestation requires aligned action. In order for you to manifest, you have to align your action. You can't say you want to do this and you're doing something else. And then you're on a cycle and then you're wondering why am I still here and you want things to manifest. No, you're delaying your manifestation. I picked up that energy of delay. You're self-sabotaging and delaying what's meant to come your way is being delayed because of resistance and lack of focus and lack of, you know, interest. All right. And I'm getting the, also the next one is the law of cause and effect, which can tie also to karma, which just simply says every action has a consequence. All right. You do one thing, you get a reward. Okay. You go one direction, you get the reward there. You take the right action, you get the right reward. You take the wrong action, you get the wrong reward or the right, the right reward for that. All right. And I'm being drawn again to the message earlier about something, steal, somebody stealing from you or trying to steal from you and you paying attention to detail. All right. And knowing that it's not trust, you can't manifest this by just trusting. You have to actually do the work. 
There's also the law of compensation, which says you are rewi rewarded for, you know, I just said, you know, I said um, you're rewarded for every action has a consequence. You're rewarded for your actions. I think I just said that. And then there's the law of perpetual transmutation of energy, which says energy is always moving and always changing. All right? It's always changing. So are you going to, when it changes, are you going to move along with it and not get off sync, off balance? There's the law of relativity, which talks about all is relative. Law of polarity, which says there are two sides to everything. Always look at those two sides. The rigidity of one-sidedness is going to lead to delays. One-sidedness of being on, they keep showing me the hamster wheel, <laughs> like all the time. All right, the rigidity is going to hold everything backward. So there is a need to go outside of your comfort zone. Check out the other polarity. Not just here. Not just the familiar. Venture out. There's also the law of reading, which says nothing is permanent. Nothing can be permanent. A situation cannot be permanent. Someone is, uh, in, you know, somebody has today, they might not have tomorrow. Somebody does not have today, they might have tomorrow. So nothing is permanent. We just go with the flow. There's also law of gender, which talks about balancing energies, harmonizing the masculine and the feminine energy that you have within you. All right? And bringing that to balance and harmonizing that. Realizing that you, when you deal with people, you can deal with people who are different from you. And figuring out how to get a common ground, be in the middle. All right? Like part number five. This is really nice messages coming out for you guys. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Amazing year. I feel it. Okay? So the next one talks about exorcist. So this is you needing to work on your shadow side. Freeing yourself and others of destructive impulses. That self-sabotage is your need to keep repeating the same cycles when you don't have to. Your blindedness is what I'm being told. Now, blindedness to changes needed and thinking the change is going to occur, somehow it will happen. No, it's not going to happen except you get off the hamster wheel. All right? Except you make that effort, the push. So without any effort from you, you're going to be there. And, and I hope you're able to manifest whatever, all these beautiful things in your energy this year. Beautiful, fantastic stuff. All right? Fantastic energy, fantastic um, new changes, new beginnings that the Holy Spirit is trying to, um, you know, like compensate you for. Looks like all your prayers and manifestation has been working or paying off somehow. So you have the Queen of Gabriel or Gabriel. The Queen of Gabriel. It says passionate, charming, brilliant, independent. Might be you, might be the person you're dealing with, might be the person you're attracting into your energy, or maybe the person you've attracted. And it says you can do anything right now. Go after what you want. The ability to attract helpful people. Guys, the opportunities will be there. Take them when they come. This one says page of Raphael, okay? And it says gentle, loving, dreamy, open-hearted. This might be you. This might be somebody in your energy. Or this might be somebody you've attracted or are about to attract. But this is somebody you're going to be dealing with in the year 2021. Or a, the next year. Closing out the cycle for, for what this whenever you, you know, come across this reading. Please remember to click the um, subscription button. Please come, you know, subscribe. Help me build this channel. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers so we can open up the live um, feed, the live reading. Um, the other day I had messages being thrown at me, left, right, center, forward, backward. And my head, well, I had a headache. I'm like, dang, I don't know who these messages are for. But I know it's for, the, for some people out there, which I can't reach right now because I don't know who they are. So, and I said, okay, let me go on Facebook. And as soon as I got there, I was like, oh, you know, you can't do live feed, you know, live video on, you know, because you haven't reached a thousand. So you guys, please help me get to a thousand so we can start doing your readings live. So sometimes, not all the time, because I'm not really, you know, we can do it once in a while when those type of uh, moments occur where they are throwing those things at me. Okay. Um, and we can even start doing for free to begin with and then, you know, accepting maybe donation. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but life path number five, it looks like you all are going to have an adventure of a year. Wow. I see love. It's going to be a huge focus. Collaboration. This is also a number one. So you have one, 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 one. Wow. There's a lot of 11s here too. There's 11. Remember we had that 11? So which is one, one. And we have the, the sun, which is a 10, which is a 1. 
All right, so that's like one, 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 right? And then you have this 10, which is another one. So you have that 11, 11. Okay. So some of you may be seeing 11, 11, or somebody in your energy or somebody in your environment may be seeing these numbers. So what 1111 simply talks about, it just says something about um, the evolution of your consciousness. It's asking you make a wish. It's a synchronicity that you see when, you know, this, um, when the universe is trying to send you a message about who you are and trying to tell you, open your heart, receive the message that we're trying to send you. You're on the right path. All you need to do is believe, have faith or in this love, the capability to go the distance with this love. Okay. So the three of them, like 11, 11, like that's, yep. It's saying go the distance with this love situation. It could be a job for some of you. But here it's specifically saying love. Any dead heart should be open. All right. Something is going to grow inside of your heart that will allow for this leap of faith, for this next level commitment. Okay. It will happen whether you want it or not. <laughs> so you know, you can't be resisted. I mean, if the universe is saying, yeah, it's going to happen. So some of you, it looks like TikTok, love, love is in your environment with the happy family. How can I forget that? Wow. And the sun? What? OMG. So on the shadow side of this exorcist, it talks about fear of facing your own demons. So it's time for you to jump off of the hamster wheel, life path number five. Get off the wheel, life path number five. All right, you see, it says balance spirituality and practicality. Some of you, there'll be focus on spirituality, either for you or somebody in your environment. So there's something here telling you to balance your spirituality and practicality and it talks about full moon in pisces so maybe something that might be happening in pisces season you might be pisces you might have a, a, a pisces usually or talked about spirituality anyway so you might want to check what's in your okay i'm getting you might want to check what's in your um astral chart or your natal chart where is pisces place for you i mean what are the planets in pisces sorry what planets are they you know in in, in pisces is, do you have Venus there? Go check. It might be a special message if you have Venus in Pisces. Or it might be you, or it might be your partner, somebody you're dealing with. With the 1111 um, twin flame thing, it might be a twin flame. Maybe this is how you will know who your twin flame is. I don't know. For some of you, check if they have Pisces, the Venus in Pisces, in, Venus in Pisces in their natal chart. I don't know. But there's something, some message here about somebody like that, okay? Finally, let's see. There's the Ten of... Mm, mm, mm. Ten of Cups. Happy family again. Love, love, love. Wow. Wow. And the heart is a water sign. It talks about Pisces. Oh, there is another reference to Pisces again. It talks also references a Cancer, a Scorpio. It's so mysterious and deep, like the ocean. It's a year of revelation for you. You will know where your loyalty lies and where who, who is aligned to your, you know, to, to be loyal to you. There's a new awareness. With the 1111, there's a new awareness that you're going to have with regards to love in your life this year. All right, this says brand new phase. Make plans, don't delay. Surprising positive changes. Great happiness and joy. Romantic beginnings, engagements and weddings, reunions, ex-loves, reuniting, pleasure and entertainment, social events and parties, pleasure in work, card of protection, be in the present, make light of all situations. Don't take anything too seriously. Don't You might have in your energy the need to be lighthearted. Like things that happen might not need to be not that serious. You need to be lighthearted. Why am I yelling that out, spirit? You need to be lighthearted in your relationship, okay? With regards to love, okay? And just find the humor in things that happen. And just deal with things in humor. I'm hearing that. It says, show compassion and generosity. Give. 
as much as you're receiving. Don't overgive. Don't undergive. Give as much as you're receiving. Sometimes we don't have to equate giving to the, it could be the same energy of different things. All right. It could be giving money for emotion, giving emotion for, um, attention. It has to be equal in some way that you, what you're getting from people in your energy, you're also giving them equality in order for you to, you know, get into proper alignment and attract whatever this is in front of you this year into your energy and blossom, blossom. I'm hearing that blossom. This year is, is a, a year of blossoming for you, life path number five. It also says show gratitude and humility. So some of you, are, uh, Spirit is also saying be humble. When you get there, be humble. On your way there, be humble. Don't forget how you started. Days of humble, humble beginnings come into attention or focus here. It's like, don't forget. All right, why, How, you know, don't get carried away in the moment and forget. All right, so this is talking about emotion, love, desire, sympathy, and healing. And healing in your relationship this year too. Life part number five, this is a, a fantastic reading. I love this energy. I'm thinking it's probably the best reading so far. Okay. So, okay, we close this reading out with your Archangel Michael prayer card. And the time I looked at the time right now, I, I I'm not even making this up. It's eleven eleven a.m. <laughs> oh my god! <gasps> it's eleven eleven a.m. on the time. Okay, just went to eleven twelve now. All right. So if you want to repeat the prayers after me, this is huge for you, life path number five. Your year, your life will not be the same after this year. I, I'm telling you, there's something great and powerful, magnetic in your energy. And it's so beautiful. I hope you can get this. I hope you can tap into this energy. It's a wonderful thing in your environment. Please don't miss the signs, all right? So here's your prayer. It says, Dear guardian angels of my, of my children, born and unborn. So some of you may be attracting kids. Um, or thinking about having kids, all right? Um, and, you know, the Holy Spirit will be sending you, the, you know, look, I'm looking at a girl child. Wow. There's a girl here, very cute girl too, that Archangel Michael is bringing towards you for you. When you meet the girl, you will know. Um, some of you might have this child. There's something around the child, the girl. All right? And it says, oh, children born and unborn. So for some of you, you have this kid already. And there's a focus on that child. Okay? And guiding your children. And thank you for watching over my children and ensuring their happiness and safety. Please guide me so that I know the best way to be a good parent and role model for my own and other people's children. So you might be focusing on your children, on having your own kids, on taking care of your children, or taking care of kids, or aligning with somebody um, who has kids or who is... Talking about having kids, there's discussion of there's kids here. There's a kid. It doesn't have to be many of them. It could be one. It could be multiple. So, but there's something about kids and asking for divine protection. Life path number five. This is a good reading. All right, guys. Please remember to click the subscribe button if you if this reading has helped you in any way. Remember to share with your friends. Um, like the video. Leave me a comment. I love you guys. Um, your energy is so wonderful this period. Oh, wow. Happy new year. Happy new cycle to you. Okay? Life path number five. This is Healing Hands. Bye. Bye. Bye.